Hey guys, what's going on? It's Electric here, and as you can see, I have this really cool police car. Got many great features, and yeah, so let's get right into it. So the front of this car is actually really cool. So as you can see, for the lights, I actually used a really cool technique that I just found out on YouTube, and it uses this piece. So here's the piece, it goes inside here, and it basically slants like this and holds the light in place. So since it's a police car, the side is kind of cool. It, it kind of integrates into red and it has to have that effect because it's a police car. And what I did here is I actually used slopes and then just brought them all up like that. And for this piece right here, I made it come out and I made it come in. So it's kind of like vents in there. So the back end is actually really nice. It has this really cool kind of look to it. And it has this Ferrari effect here, and like uh, there's some couple lights here. So if you look at it like this, it looks like a saline because the windshield is actually far back. Well, it's not that far back, but you know what I mean. It's pretty far back, and it does capture that look of a saline. But anyways, these lights are kind of cool. Tell me in the comments if you like these lights or these lights better. Now I changed the lights. Doesn't look like I changed it, but I did change them. So in the trunk section, I was going to make a trunk, but I couldn't do it because, well, just how the car is created. So what I did here is I actually made a little wing and then I made this vent thing that goes all the way in. So it doesn't go all the way in because this, this little canopy section, it wouldn't hold because, well, it's just, it comes off too easily. But here, as you can see, we got some really nice exhaust pipes and they're actually kind of cool. And obviously this side is uh, the same as the other side. And if we take a look on the inside of the car, all you have to do is pop this off and it comes off like that. So the inside is pretty empty. It does hold a minifigure, which is kind of good because, well, that was kind of the downsides I was having to this because I was trying to fool around with it and get a minifigure in there. But I did end up getting a minifigure in there. The minifigure does have to be slanted, but it does fit. And now let's look at some of the details around here. So as you can see, we got some really nice vents here. And then here there's more vents. And I kind of like that about the car. It gives like a cool look. And as you can see, I used most of these pieces uh, here from the Jaguar set, which I'll show you right now. So it was basically created by these pieces. It kind of has this kind of look. And I really like how this set looks, by the way. But if you would like to order this online, it is a dope set and building it is really cool. It's set number 76898. And you can buy it on like lego.com or anywhere you want. I don't know if it's retired. I think it is actually. So you might not be able to buy it on Lego. But it is a Speed Champions set. But yeah, I did use some of the pieces for it. And then as you can see, this kind of lip design was really hard to make because, well, it's all like, well, I had to use these pieces here, but it's all like black underneath and it was hard to create. Because usually when I'm building my mocks, I start from here, but this time I started from here and I basically built and then I just started to put the wheels on. So underneath the bottom, it is kind of weird, but it does work for like basically this. It makes it look cool. And I think it is a cool um, look to this car. The only downside I have about this car is there's different colored rims. So I had to do different colored rims because I have so many cars that I have up in my collection that I didn't really get to put any like same color rims on it. So that's kind of basically the review of this thing. There's not much to say about it because it's just so cool. And there's like no details on it, but it just looks cool. So... It was just a little fun mock I made. It took me about five hours, so it wasn't bad. It took, it was just a little fun mock, but it took me about five hours, so it wasn't bad, but it is really cool. So I enjoyed building this. But yeah, guys, so that is the kind of police car look. I, I don't know what to call this thing. It's like kind of like an aggressive police car, but it's kind of cool at the same time. But yeah, so thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one. So, peace.